Hello everyone and welcome back to Easy Dentistry, a channel that makes dental education incredibly easy and interesting. On high demand of by our viewers, we are here with this important topic that is drugs acting on the central nervous system. But before we begin, please subscribe to our channel, comment and do tell us your valuable feedback and which gives us a lot and lot of motivation to upload more lectures. So starting with the first CNS related drug that is sedatives and hypnotics. We will be studying this uh, these drugs in two parts. In part 1 we will be studying the barbiturates and in part 2 we will be studying in detail the benzodiazepines. So starting with the basics, what is sedative and what is a hypnotic? A sedative is a drug that subdues excitement and calms the subject without inducing sleep this is very important without inducing sleep though drowsiness may be produced and what is a hypnotic a hypnotic is a drug that induces and maintains sleep similar to the normal arousable sleep Now, sedatives and hypnotics are considered as global CNS depressants. Hypnotics have a quick onset of action. It has a short duration of action and a very steep dose response relationship. While the sedatives are slow acting and they have a flat dose response relationship. Now, there is a considerable overlap between the sedatives and the hypnotics. You can say that a hypnotic at a low dose can act as a sedative. Now, sedation, hypnosis and general anesthesia are increasing grades of CNS depression. The primary use of sedatives and hypnotics is the treatment of lack of sleep or insomnia. Now let us study this sleep in detail. Now duration and pattern of sleep is varying in different individuals. It depends upon the age. The quantity and depth of sleep depends upon the age of the individual. And this sleep process is an architectural cyclic process and this cyclic process is essential for a refreshing sleep. The subject who is sleeping passes through different stages. These stages are stage 0, stage 1, stage 2 and stage 3. Stage 0 is the stage of awake. Stage 1 is dozing, stage 2 is unequivocal sleep and stage 3 is a deep tra sleep transition between the non-rapid eye movement that is NREM sleep interspersed with rapid eye movement or the REM sleep. So in stage 3 there is a transition between the NREM sleep and the REM sleep. Now this is a diagram explaining the various stages of sleep in which the stage 0 is of awake, awakening, stage 1 is dozing, stage 2 is unequivocal sleep and stage 3 you can say is the transition between the NREM sleep and the REM sleep. So this is the line. The patient uh, first is awake, then it undergoes dozing in stage 1, then unequivocal sleep and then it enters into the stage 3 where there is a transition between the REM sleep which is shown by this pink bars and the non-REM sleep. So 20 to 30 percent of the sleep is the REM sleep while the major part of the sleep is the non-REM sleep. So, the dreams and nightmares, they occur in the REM sleep. 
so this is a short discussion about the sleep pattern of an individual now let us classify the sedatives and hypnotics the sedatives and hypnotics are classified into three groups first is that of benzodiazepine second is the non benzodiazepine and third is the barbiturate easy three groups benzodiazepine non benzodiazepine and the third one is the barbiturate now classifying the benzodiazepine group of sedatives and hypnotics benzodiazepine give you an idea of the mercedes benz so what will earn you this red polished sparkling mercedes benz hard work and commitment will earn you a mercedes benz so what these hard work and commitment stands for so the benzodiazepine group of sedatives and hypnotics are divided into three groups which are hypnotic drugs the anti anxiety drugs and the anti convulsant drugs so this is a mnemonic to remember that a benzodi a uh, sorry a mercedes benz you will earn only with hard work and commitment so the hypnotic group consists of diazepam flunazepam nitrazepam alprazolam temazepam and triazolam the anti anxiety group consists of diazepam lorazepam alprazolam oxazepam and chlorodiazepoxide when while the anti convulsant group consists of diazepam lorazepam clonazepam and clobazepam now the second group of sedatives and hypnotics is the non benzodiazepine group which consists of zopiclone ezopiclone zolpidem and zaliplon now the barbiturates group is further divided into long acting short acting and ultra short acting the long acting barbiturates are phenobarbitone the short acting barbiturates are butobarbitone and pentobarbitone while the ultra short acting barbiturates are thiopentone and methohexetone now in this lecture that is part 1 of sedatives and hypnotics we will be studying in detail the barbiturates now barbiturates are the prototype cns depressants the barbiturates are lipid soluble and this lipid solubility is very important more the lipid solubility more is the potency of the drug and shorter is the action of the drug and these barbiturates are water insoluble now the pharmacological actions of barbiturates we will be studying the action, actions of barbiturates on cns rs cvs git and the kidney now the effect of on cns is totally dose dependent depending upon the dose the barbiturates may produce sedation in the patient or sleep or anesthesia or coma depending upon the dose so effect of barbiturates on the cns is totally dose depend now what is the hypnotic dose the hypnotic dose it shortens the time required to fall asleep and it increases the sleep duration the patient is arousable when given a hypnotic dose of barbiturate but if waken up early the patient appears to be very confused now while taking the barbiturate drug the rem and the stage 3 sleep is decreased and the rem nrem sleep cycle is disrupted repeated use may render the drug ineffective and hangover of the drug may persist now the sedative dose of the barbiturates may result into drowsiness reduced anxiety reduced learning of the subject and reduced short term memory now these barbiturates have no analgesic property and no, and it has quite 
appreciable anti convulsant property the barbiturates they depress all the areas of the cns and particularly reticular activating system is most sensitive now the mechanism of action the mechanism of action of the barbiturates the barbiturate drug as you can see in this diagram the barbiturate drug it acts on the gamma gaba benzodiazepine chlorine channel complex this is the diagram of a gaba benzodiazepine chlorine channel complex the barbiturate it it uh, the barbiturate it the barbiturate it binds to the gaba benz, uh, benzodiazepine chlorine channel complex here and it increases the chlorine channel opening so this chlorine channel is opened by this barbiturate and this opening of the chlorine channel it increases the chlorine conduction in the cell and also results into an increase uh, a reduced calcium dependent release of neurotransmitters there is decreased release of neurotransmitters and decreased sodium and potassium conductance so there is increase in the chlorine conduction decrease in the sodium and potassium conductance and reduced release of the neurotransmitter because of this binding of barbiturate to the gaba benzodiazepine chlorine channel complex now on the respiratory system the barbiturates in higher doses reduces the respiratory rate and it has a selective antitussive effect on cvs it slightly reduces the blood pressure and the heart rate on git it reduces the tone and motility in kidney it reduces the urine flow by causing a fall in bp and increase in the anti diuretic hormone now talking about the pharmacokinetics of this drug it is well absorbed from the git it is widely distributed and increase in the lipid solubility of the drug increases the entry in the cns plasma protein binding 75% of the drug Uh, there is seventy five percent plasma protein binding shown by thiopentone and twenty percent by phenobarbitone. There are three processes of elimination of barbiturates. First is redistribution. It is more in ultra short acting group, and the consciousness is gained in six six to ten minutes. The metabolism it is useful for short acting barbiturates. the drugs are metabolized in liver and the t half of the drug is 12 to 40 hours excretion is more important in low lipid soluble drug the drugs are excreted in the urine and the t half of the drug is 80 to 120 hours uses barbiturates are seldom used these days except for epilepsy phenobarbitone is used and for anesthesia thiopentone is used the adverse effects include hangover mental confusion excitement hypersensitivity tolerance and dependence on the drug now acute barbiturate poisoning acute barbiturate poisoning is a frequently asked question in exam now the poisoning depends upon the lethal dose and this lethal dose depends upon the lipid solubility of the drug the more is the lipid solubility even 2 to 3 g of drug may be considered as lethal less lipid solubility 5 to 10 g of the drug can be considered as lethal the manifestations of acute barbiturate poisoning include excessive cns depression flabby patient there may be bullous eruptions on the patient the the respiration may be 
the respiration may be shallow failing depressing there may be fall in bp cvs collapse renal shutdown and pulmonary complications now how to treat this acute barbiturate poisoning first gastric lavage is considered then supportive measures such as airway assisted respiration oxygen maintenance of blood volume and use of vasopressors is are uh, done then alkaline diuresis may be done with the help of mannitol and sodium bicarbonate hemodialysis and hemoperfusion is done there is no specific antidote for barbiturates so the approach is to keep the patient alive till the poison is eliminated now the interactions of the barbiturates another important question the barbiturates increase the metabolism of warfarin steroids contraceptives tolbutamide grisofluvin and chloramphenicol secondly there may be additive action of the barbiturates on alcohol antihistaminics and opioids the sodium valproate it increases the plasma concentration of phenobarbitone and phenobarbitone and phenytoin show complex interactions with each other phenobarbitone may increase as well as decrease the metabolism of phenytoin so it is considered as a complex interaction then the phenobarbitone it reduces the absorption of griseofluvin from the git so these are the important interactions of the pheno of the barbiturates with other drugs now the next lecture will be on the sedatives and hypnotics part 2 where we will be studying the benzodiazepine non benzodiazepine and benzodiazepine antagonist hope you find this lecture interesting please subscribe to our channel that's all for now happy studying